Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a fake depth of field effect inside of the Fusion page. You already know, or if you don't, that you can create a depth of field effect using the 3D camera. So, uh, for example, I have this DaVinci Resolve logo here. If I add in an image plane 3D, camera 3D, renderer 3D, you can actually see we can change the renderer type from here to hardware renderer and under accumulation effects. If we enable accumulation effect, you will have this depth of field option. But this is all inside the 3D scene. What if we just want to keep the scene 2D and have the same depth of field effect in the 2D environment? Here I have uh, replicated this 3D look using the DVE node. And now what you can do is you can create any sort of animation over here using this DVE node. What you can do is you can just go ahead and add a simple uh, blur tool to this. Now there are different options over here for the blur. I'm going to use the simple blur over here. And if you take a look at it and increase the blur size, you can see it just uh, blurs out the whole image. Then you can uh, drag in a rectangle mask tool and connect it up like that. And you can like stretch it out and make sure you click on this invert checkbox. And you can simply increase the soft edge like so. And that way you will have this uh, fake depth of field inside of your image. So then you can go to blur and just uh, change some settings over here. You can make it more blurry, less blurry. It really depends on what you want to go for. Now, the other option is of this DVE, you can add in a defocus node. This is a little bit CPU intensive, this node defocus. Take a look at it. Uh, you can see we have by default this bloom level. Let's reduce that to zero. We only want the defocus size, which is basically the amount of blur. And then you also have the ability to change the lens type. Um, so this is like the bokeh effect on the cameras. So you can change the look of the bokeh. So you can just pick anything that you want from here. There are some different options over here in the defocus node. And you can even increase the defocus size to something like uh, 30. And uh, you can see right over here. Uh, and then you can just drag in any mask to this. So let's just use an ellipse mask for this and click on inward. And then you can just kind of stretch it out like so. So you can see that it, this is quite a uh, resource hungry. Let me just increase the soft edge a little bit. So yeah, there you go. This is another way of how you can add a fake depth of field effect. The next method, which is my personal favorite way of doing this, is by using a very blur. So if you search for very blur, click on add. And if you take a look at this very blur, you can see it did add a little bit of blurring. Turn this off, this is before and now this is after. Um, so you can increase the blur size uh, quite a bit. So right, let's set this to 10 for now. And now this very blur is al also has this blur image input. Uh, this is basically your blur map. So you can create your blur map uh, right inside of Fusion. And uh, to do that, we will use the background node. So just drag and drop it. And uh, if you take a look at this background node, this is going to be black. We will change the type from solid color to gradient. And uh, yeah, you can just leave the default for now. So now whatever is in the brighter areas, uh, which is this the right side over here will be blurred. And whatever is in the darker area will be in focus. So now you can just simply take the output of this background and connect it to this very blur. Take a look at it and you can see that the right side is now blurred and the left side is in focus. So now you can sort of move around anywhere that you want and change the angle of the gradient. And then you can go to very blur here and let's just crank this size to maybe like 50 to see it clearly. Then in the background over here, you can change the gradient stops over here and, uh, you know, create a really cool looking um, depth of field blur. So now you can see that um, we don't have that tilt shift look or we don't have that rack focus look. For that, we have to add another point. So if you click on this gradient line, click once, and this will add a point over here. And we just want to make sure that this point is set to white. So change it to white and the one in the middle should be black and uh, it is going to basically focus in this area over here. And then you can also create another point over here. Let's just make sure it is black as well. And this will kind of give you more control over this um, 
blur so you can kind of uh, you know focus more on the area over here that's how you can add a custom depth of field effect so now if you want to animate this you can even do that so let's just go to the very first frame you can create keyframe on a gradient and you can sort of uh, move it something like this and then let's go to the last frame over here and sort of change the position of the gradient all right uh, something like that so now the animation will look something like this so it's kind of similar to what we have in the if i just add in the render 3d right over here changes hardware renderer accumulation effect um, you can enable depth of field and then if you have a camera as well uh, then you connect it to render 3d and the camera 3d we have the option to change the focal plane uh, so this is basically what we are doing we're changing the focal plane um, using the gradient stop over here i think that's pretty much it that's how you can create a fake depth of field effect in davinci resolve if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below other than that if this video is helpful do leave a like and also subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one